Welcome back, guys. In our last episode, we took our boat Happy Hours to Cayo Costa and anchored overnight in Pelican Bay. Today, we are off to a new boating destination for us in Punta Gorda. So grab your tropical drink as we continue to explore Southwest Florida. So we're going to be crossing Charlotte Harbor here. Here's our path from Cayo Costa up through Charlotte Harbor. Here we have Punta Gorda up here. We got Fisherman's Village in this area. So we're thinking of going over there for dinner, but I think we're going to go to TT's Tiki Bar for lunch. A lot of white caps. We're going right into it. It's going to slow us down a little bit. We might pick it up a little bit later, but it should take us about three hours at about seven or eight miles an hour. What do you think, Bridge? How'd you like? Last night, I'll stay at Pelican Bay. I feel bad for you, because you were up all night, but I slept fine. I mean, it was rocky, but we're on a boat. Yeah, I couldn't sleep too well last night. Mady slept pretty good. It yeah. was a lot all night long. It was, the boat was rocking all night. But uh, I was feeling pretty good before bed, so I was able to just... Yeah, the captain was a little fatigued and stressed. Yes. We were uh, bouncing around yeah. bad, and uh, I was, you know, a lot of noise from outside, the anchor, and swinging about. I'm super excited about heading to Punta Gorda, waters we've never traveled. Yes, yeah, our first time heading out to Punta. We're getting a little splash, a little spray. We're gonna get a little wet, I think. Going right into it. All right, we finally hit the milestone. 1,000 hours on the starboard motor. Uh, poor motor's running a little bit behind. It'll catch up on our trip back, 986. We hope to get at least 1,500 hours out of these motors. That's typical for a gas motor. We take good care of it. We don't beat her up. Hope to get better than that. We finished our trek across Charlotte Harbor and now we are entering the Peace River. We have Punta Gorda here on our right. Just rounding the turn here and Fisherman's Village is up ahead there. There's a well-marked entrance channel to Fisherman's Village that's out there in the distance. We're going past it right now and head into Titi's Tiki. We'll be back to Fisherman's Village a little later. Okay, here's our track. We're going right between the two bridges there. Really not a big fan of going under a bridge outside of the marked channel, but we have plenty of depth according to all the charts. As long as these abutments don't jut out. Still got plenty of water. Feet. Take it nice and slow. Yep. Plenty of water. Is that where we're going? Yep, that's where we're going. I'll have to keep an eye out for debris, and I think I see a boat in there. I'll check it out. So far, the approach is looking pretty good. They got a large L-shaped dot there. We got over 10 feet of water right here. There she is. We do have some swift currents though coming in here. I gotta be careful of that. Now this is gonna be a little tricky with the wind at all, so I'm gonna have to probably put you guys down as we get ready for this approach. All right, we are anchored on the inside. This is really shallow in here. 
I was probably kicking up mud, but I was too concerned about docking the boat. There's no cleats here. So it makes for an interesting tie up. And we're at dead low tide, so high tide would be a little bit better for us in here. But we are in and it's low tide. Didn't hear any grinding, anything with the propellers in the sand, so we could clean them up a little bit. But um, shut that guy off. We are here and looking forward to lunch. Mm, well set. All right, let's go check this place out. Can't really dock on this side, which is the deep water. They probably have a ferry boat coming in here. Nice pilings, but it's locked off there. Not conducive to us getting off. Mommy's here. here last night. Big party. All right, on our way to Fisherman's Village. This was fun. We had a great time. Everything was great. We'd definitely come back. All right, so getting out of here, hopefully we got a little bit more water than coming in. And we got the wind and current blowing right out of stern. We'll have to back out. But nice place to visit. A little tough with a bigger boat at low tide. But um, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Live music. Fun times. All right, that's a little better depth. We could deal with that. Tide came up about a foot and a half or so. All right, we're heading into Fisherman's Village. We're a little bit outside of the channel, the main channel here, coming into, got the marina right here on the left. And the blue tarps, that's the end of Fisherman's Village Pier. We're gonna see if we can pull around on the right side of that. They have uh, docking for visitors, dock and dine on the right side. And the left side is the marina. Right, we are in plenty of room here nice and easy actually have some bumpers along the pilings which help a little salty can't read the sign but temporary docking only no overnight docking allowed not responsible for loss or damage
Mady does not get a toy today. No toys for Mady? Not today. Good boy. He's such a good boy. I mean, we could bring him back a toy because now, of course, I feel bad. Harpoon Harry's. <laughs> Waterside. Missed the sunset? We did. The clouds blocked it. But that, I know you don't love this breeze, but it feels damn oh, good. The breeze feels good. I know it doesn't sound good, but we're anchored just outside of Fisherman's Village Marina. We're hoping we could get gas there tomorrow, but I'm hearing the gas station, or the gas dock is not working. Some sort of electrical problem. So we'll see. We only have a quarter tank of gas to get all the way back to Cape Coral. We'll, we'll have, have to stop. We'll, we'll yeah. tell the no, no, the dinghy's not reliable. That's we'll have true. to uh, we'll have to find a gas dock somewhere. But nice day. We had a really nice day. Yes. Maybe have to go in the crate for a little bit, yes. right? Yeah, yeah he's you don't like right. that. He's here he did now. all right. Tell us, well, tell the we tale. Had, he had a whole bunch of people outside his window. But he was fine, he was not yep. making a beat. Yeah. He had the AC on, <laughs> and he was just resting. Yep. Well, mom and dad had date night. Yep, date night.